The other side of the net is something in practice that I think we have to have an awareness of. Um, my la at the la end of my coaching career, I had a former player come back and coach with me, Cassidy Lichtman. She played in the national team, played in the pro. She was an All-American. She played left side and passed and hit and set for us, a very strange 6-2 situation where four rotations she passed and hit and two rotations she set because we could, that's the way we could get the ball in her hands the most. And when she came back to coach with me, she said, coach, if I'm gonna coach, I want one th job. I, you can have me do other things, but do not distract me from doing the other job. I said, what's that? She said, I want the other side of the net. Nobody deals with them respectfully. I want the other side of the net in our gym to know they are important we are paying attention to them. I mean, there were years where we probably did that and there were years where we didn't as a program. And I think you have to at least purposefully think about it. So I said, okay, what do you want? She said, first of all, we have a name. They're called the machine team. Second of all, I don't coach on the starter side. That's up to you. You want to pay attention to them anyway. I want the other side and I want to play with them when I can and I want uh, a lot of the drills to, to be set up so that if they win, somebody from their side gets to go play with the starters. So we had all kinds of drills where we're playing four on four, starters lose, somebody from the other team goes over and gets a chance to see if they deserve to play with them. I mean, it's a huge idea. And it was one of the reasons our team won at the end of the season, because the other side of the team every day brought it, believed in it, and were excited about it. And there was no drama because of all the garbage that happens because they aren't being treated fairly. So it's just something that I think we can think about. How did my assistant decide which player went to the other side? She didn't, I did. <laughs> But the, the key thing was, is as soon as, you know, let's say that the starters lose once. Player A goes over and somebody switches. It was never on performance, it was random. Or opportunities that I kept track of, maybe. But if the starters lost a second time, those two people switched back. And then I picked two others to switch. So that it was always, well, there are like five of us over here now, this is not a chance. What it was, was one person to go seriously play with them to see if they belong there or what it felt like to be there because it feels different and we all know it. Everybody goes, when we're on this side, I'm relaxed, I just play. And when we're over there, oh my God. Well, you got to feel that. Okay, so she didn't get that. I didn't give that away. You know, the, the I other, have to have some control. 